I spent six years at Cambridge Medical School learning how to be a doctor and a researcher in habits and addiction science. And so I've had to beat procrastination thousands of times to do it. So after a decade of learning neuroscience, psychology, and practically how to force myself to work, I figured out the formula to allow anyone to stop procrastinating even if you're not disciplined and you've been slacking for years. I guarantee you that this formula will force you to get the work done so you can finally reach your potential and achieve your goals. I know that if you pick this video, you have a drive in you to do something great and now all you need is a little bit of neuroscience. So if you keep watching, I explain exactly what the formula is, exactly how to use it, and I'll give some practical no BS advice about how to use it and how to make progress today. I'm not gonna use any new papers, new scientific words that you haven't heard of. There's no hacks to this, just some real advice that is going to get you results. So before I explain this formula, I'm going to explain with two scenarios that I know you've been in. All right, so scenario one, you have a deadline in a month's time. Obviously, you know that the work is gonna be boring, you actively don't wanna do it, and you also know that delaying it another day really doesn't make that much difference. You've still got a whole bunch more time to actually do the work. And so obviously, you procrastinate because the pain of the task itself is greater than the pain of delaying the task, right? There's not that much of a cost if you delay it one more day. Now, in the opposite scenario, you have a deadline that is now tomorrow. And the reason why you don't procrastinate is because the pain of the task, right? The pain is probably even larger, right? You really don't wanna do this task, but the pain of the delay is much higher because you might fail out of your course, you might get fired at your job. And so the pain of the delay the delay is more costly than the issues of the task, right? So this is the condition for procrastination and this is the condition for getting the work done. And now I know that we've been talking about terms of pain, right? Expected pain. If the expected pain of the task is lower than the expected pain of the delay, then you procrastinate. But what is another word for how you feel when you expect something to be painful. That is fear. Fear is what you feel when you expect something to be painful. And so procrastination, P, is directly related to what? The fear of the task right? When you know it's going to be boring. And so the more boring it is, the more uncomfortable it is to do the task, the more likely you are going to procrastinate it, divided by the fear of the delay. So even if you really, really, really don't want to do this task, and it's going to be boring, and it's going to be worse, if there is a fear at the outcome of the delay, like, okay, yeah, you don't wanna go through the battlefield, but if you feel like someone's gonna kill your, kill your family at the end of it, you will not procrastinate. So if you have enough fear of the delay, the outcome of procrastinating, and you're scared of it genuinely, you can do any task immediately. We don't make logical decisions. Our brains are not designed to make decisions based on weighing up pros and cons. You know logically you should do all of these things, but you don't do it. Why? Because it's actually, motivation is actually related to your emotions. And that's why it's only to do with fear. If you want to ask someone, if you want to get anybody to do something, you know what the fastest way to get them to do something is? is to make them scared of it. If you want someone to run towards a post, yeah, you can put a pot of gold there and they would run pretty fast. But if you put a line behind them, they'd run even faster. So this is the formula. Procrastination equals fear of the task divided by the fear of the delay. So if you want to decrease your procrastination, you need to decrease this and increase this and then you decrease procrastination. All right, so this is the no BS advice about how to use this. So. First things first, you need to decrease the fear of the task. The way that you do that is to make the task smaller. If you make the task smaller, it is less scary. It's like fighting one soldier instead of fighting a whole army. If something is too large, 
you are too scared to do it, right? And this is way too high and so you procrastinate. So how do you make it smaller? If you have a hundred questions to do, break it down, chunk it up for each particular day, right? So if you need to do a hundred questions in a week, then do like 20 questions per day, right? Cool. And the next thing you can do is that you can do it with your friends, make it fun. You can see how, obviously, if it's fun, you won't be as scared because you know that you have backup. It's the same as fight. Yeah, if you're gonna go fight an army, you don't wanna have some backup and it's less scary, even if the army's large, right? Now, you can see how every single piece of advice that you've ever gotten about procrastination fits into this particular equation. Now, how do you increase the fear of the delay? The first thing you can do, which you've obviously heard before, is to have some accountability, right? If you tell somebody, I don't even know if I'm gonna fit this. If you tell somebody that you respect, because if you tell somebody that you don't respect, you won't care if they think about you worse, but it has to be someone that you truly, truly respect. So if you don't do this task, there's a real added fear of delaying it and procrastinating because you are going to lose your social status with them. And now the last thing, this is probably the biggest thing that can increase the fear of delay. This is some real advice that most people aren't gonna tell you. And most people don't even know themselves. What you need to do is you need to understand that every single thing that you do has meaning. Every single thing that you do has an outcome and that changes the world in a good or a bad way. Everybody is nihilistic and they feel like nothing matters anymore. Right, And that's why everyone procrastinates and they stays on, stay on their phone, right? But if you realize that every single thing that you do has a ripple effect that makes the world and yourself either better or worse, then you realize how urgent this is. The easiest way to clarify what the meaning of the situation, the truth of the situation is, is to write it down yourself in a journal or speak to your friends that you respect. Now, you have to play out the story one story where you don't procrastinate, the other story where you do procrastinate. And when you procrastinate, what happens? To procrastinate, you need to do the bad habits, right? And so when you do a habit, your neuroplasticity means that that habit gets even stronger. And so what happens? Your phone addiction gets stronger. Your addiction to other X-rated content gets stronger. Your addiction to video games gets stronger. You don't exercise, all of these things. And that makes it harder and harder to change and do the good habits and then eventually, it gets to a point where, uh, you know what, you say that you've given up because it's been so long. But actually, that dream is still in your head. You can't get rid of the ambition that you want. You are someone that is obviously ambitious. And so if you try to convince yourself you don't want that, that is not going to work. And eventually you might try and like numb yourself with alcohol and addictions and whatever. And eventually you end up 85 and you hate your life and you wonder where it all went wrong. Every single action that you do or don't do matters for your life and for the world. I'm not telling you that if you've been a chronic procrastinator for the last few years that you can't change and you're done. You can change it, but you need to have enough fear of the outcome. Now this is it. This is how anyone can beat procrastination. I hope I have scared you into action. We blind ourselves to the pain of procrastination until it's too late. And I don't want you to get there. Now, if you want another universal formula for life, then click this video on screen where I explain how to maximize your productivity and achieve your goals in the shortest time possible.